Hey guys, this is Buddy here, and welcome back to NASCAR for race 6 of 36 Sabre Racing here at Martinsville. I'm looking forward to it. If you have not watched the last race at Auto Club, I ended up getting third. Um, it wasn't too bad of a race, but it was just really fucking boring. So hopefully, uh, if you're marathoning this, you will get a better race than that. Hopefully. So here's the points. I still have a 25 point lead over Kyle Busch. And the point sayings, there you go, as it stands. Without further ado, let's get right into Martinsville. Here are the settings that we're going to be using for this race. This is going to be on champion difficulty, 25 last, one time is wear and tire fuel, whatever uh, flags are uh, cautioned to black flags, and damage and failures are on full. We're going to accept those changes. And then we're going to put, uh, we're going to go to qualification and put it in our custom setup, which is 1222. Tire pressure is, you know, left size are 12, and then the right size are 22. And then go straight into qualifying here real quick. There you go, it's, uh, I have 12-12, but this is 12-22, my bad. So we're going to use 12-22, there we go. And now we're going to begin this bad boy up. Before we do, we're going to lower our brake bias so we can have a better turn, or our car is a little bit looser in the track, so we're going to do that right now. Um, okay, it's uh, not fucking doing it this time. I hate this game, I really do. It's the same issue again, it's just, it just stops doing it. Is it that fucking hard to do? Okay, there you go. Yeah, a great job, what if you choked the fuck out of that. 31st, fantastic. Made it through turns 1 and 2, not too bad, but just 3 and 4, I just fucking just choked it up big time. Let's see how we're going to do going into 3. Uh, that's a little bit better, not, I mean, I wish I would be more pinned closer to the yellow bump, but 31st it is. Um, weird, but in my practice runs, I got about maybe 30th, 26th, something like that. So, honestly, this is almost where I, where I would expect to run. Still, wish I did better. Jimmy Johnson is first, Edward second, Jeff Burton third, Ricky Stenhouse eighth, Tony Stewart finally with a good run. Qualifying. Okay. Let's get right into the main race. We're going to make sure we put in our 12.22 once again, just to be safe. Pace car is down pit road. Jimmy Johnson will lead us all down the green flag, I think. I think he's first. <laughs> I don't know. And we're about to get this race going. Get ready. And green flag is out. We are underway here at Martinsville for 25 laps. So let's be very careful going in this corner. Because remember, on this game, on Inside Line, they like to break exiting the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they like to break, break, break exiting out of the corner. It's really dumb. And it makes no sense. But this is this game in a nutshell. And we're already in a game maybe, what, four spots, five spots. Oh, God, Regan Smith. I just kind of threw the car in there. And, oh, God, Regan. Please don't. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, I was a little bit nervous. I shit my pants a little bit. I'm going to have to change my pants afterwards. Oh, Kyle, I'm sorry. I just touched the back of them, and they're all brake checking. Oh, God, wow, I got sideways. Holy shit. Also, if you notice, the gear ratio in this game is complete ass. It goes from first, second, third, fourth. Like, it's really, really dumb. It's terrible. I wanted to downshift, but I can't, so... That hindered me way more than it should, but they just break so much going into that corner. Like, it was just absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know what the hell to say about that. That was just unbelievable. So now we gotta play fucking catch up, and I'm choking the fuck out of this race right now. Like, I am not making my corner entries well at all. Like, I'm just dive bombing it in there and missing them by a freaking mile. My god. The only thing that's even giving me any sort of chance of passing them is just them literally breaking off the corner. Oh god, I'm sorry, Montoya. I'm sorry, Montoya. What the fuck is. Oh, my fucking. Ugh! I hate this shit. Why does it not stay down the entire time? No wonder why I was feeling a little bit off. The car was like really fucking tight because I didn't have my brake bias lowered. And then it goes back to the fucking tire. Go down. Go the fuck down. There we go. 48. God damn. Oh, fuck, man. This is... I fucking forgot. I should have done that right away. That's what fucking happens. Shit like this is mistakes that just prevent me from winning. Ugh. Maybe I could salvage a top 10 out of this. I don't know. Yeah, it's just... Let's get... Now the car feels better. Now it doesn't feel like I'm fucking doing, like, a freaking nuclear... No, that's not the right terminology. I was gonna say Hiroshima, but that's fucked up. <laughs> like, it just... It just... 
so fucking tight. I'm, lowering the break bias helps so much in this game when it comes to just using, for the most part, a general default setup. Even though I am using 1222, it's not really, uh, it doesn't ch it's there's no fucking change to the suspension or any sort of wacky, fanky, fanky, wacky things like that. Just, that's the only change. Um, the only thing that's going to make this race interesting now is to see when Jimmy Johnson will catch these lap traffic. Catch the lap traffic, not the lap traffic, the lap traffic. And see how it kind of just bunches up the field once again, as it already is kind of bunched up as it is, but it's going to slow them down, slow them down a lot more. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to win this race. Uh, just mistakes like that, just they cost you in the long run. You know, you got to be perfect. Damn near perfect. Like, Auto Club was just, like, it was so, like, just so much concentration and just a little bit of luck at the end there because Harvard caught the lap, one of the lap down cars, like, the worst time. And I could have, and I got just around him. Bristol was not very easy either because I just got around Jeff Gordon and Gordon was right on me the entire race. If I really messed up or you know hit the wall even more than what I did, I probably wouldn't have won it. But mistakes like this is what costs you. And this is what it does in real life. But just uh, it is kind of frustrating when it's really something that's out of your control, like the car is just going like just stopping completely in one of the corners like that because it's kind of ridiculous. That's really like that. That's the kind of shit that pisses me off. It's not really the fact that I, I, I don't know. It's it just things like that. They're kind of like uncontrollable. Like that's way out of the, the hands of the driver, in that sense. But then again, you could be like, oh well, that's how it is in real life. But I'm pretty sure people don't randomly go in the corner and then just stop getting out. You know, I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard to. Oh God, Kurt, give me room. We're both in shitmobiles, but come on, getting this pudding all fucked up. <laughs> Oh god. So we're a little bit over halfway through this race. I'm still making progress, even though I started 31st. Made it to maybe 26, and then, like, you know, hit the inside wall, which I didn't even think was possible in this game. <laughs> to, to do by complete accident. But, um, yeah, we're still even making around. I, I think a top 10 is still possible. Just win this race, I don't think it's going to happen. Tire fall off at this track is actually pretty solid. It's not like insane or anything, but by the end of the race when I was doing my practice runs, it was getting really, really hard to pass, mainly because I was just having pretty decent tire fall off, so it made it kind of uh, interesting, so I don't think this is going to be like a, a cakewalk, like, uh, I was going to say like, uh, what the fuck? none of the races were, well, maybe like Daytona, I guess, I mean, none of the races were really like cakewalks, I mean, some of them were fucking hard to win. <laughs> And lap 16, Jimmy's finally caught up to the lap traffic, I think. And I just fucked up that corner big time. But it's okay, because we're going to get an amazing drive off the corner and just say goodbye to Tony Stewart. My God. Yeah, I do. I, I love this Martinsville way more in 2011. Like, this is how Martinsville more than likely should look like. Really close to that white line. We're almost, we're almost, we're almost huggling it. Like it's a, it's very, it's very sensual, sensual. Not sex. I try to mix sexual and sensual, and I don't even know what. My brain, I tell you, it, my brain waves during these freaking videos. Like it's just, it's just like a sporadic mess. I don't even know how the hell I function in reality. <laughs> reality. What the fuck am I talking about? But yeah, I'm in, I'm in 11th. Jimmy's still leading. He might lead every goddamn lap in this race. Just. Fantastic. This is like freaking 2011 all over again. I might just salvage a top 10 out of this. I think a top 10 is pretty possible at this point. Again, my worst finish this season was 5th, and that was at uh, Las Vegas. Even then, that was not a bad finish by any means, but compared to other races in the season where I've gotten 3rd or 1st, I mean, it's pretty bad. So technically right now, this is my worst race of the season. <laughs> and even then, it's not like completely horrible. But just wait, just wait till we get like to like New Hampshire or something, because like no matter what I do, I there's I don't really see myself having any sort of shot. As you can kind of see right now, it is getting really hard to pass people, like a tire fall off and everything's starting to get pretty. It is getting much harder to drive the car. Hold on. The only thing that's even keeping me somewhat in, in the the bounds of competitiveness is just these guys stopping off the corner. I'm gonna try to yeah, we can't even hold the bottom. 
and then it's going to sl slide, stop getting off the corner, and then we're going to take 10th back once again. Look at me fighting with my former self, and look at me choke. I mean, it's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. I mean, that was just, that was the biggest choke I've seen this entire season. Pause. Oh my god. Oh god, Newman, please. I'm like fighting with myself here. Look at this. I'm fighting with my former driver. He doesn't want me to do good. Yeah, it looks like 10th might be even the best spot I can do. Which sucks, because I really feel like I could have easily gotten a top 5, or maybe even 1 if it was like near the late, like a late last lap pass or something. And Jeff Gordon got the lead. Nope, it went back to Jimmy. Okay. Yeah, it's getting really, really, really difficult to hold the bottom here. And I know if I'm not careful, these cars will just plow right through you and just run you over. Which was, which will be a very big issue in NASCAR 14, but it is kind of prevalent here in some tracks on this game. But yeah, you have to be really careful. And see, if I actually hit my mark somewhat, I could probably catch these guys. Now they're actually in heavy lap traffic. I can maybe run these guys down, but obviously it's not enough time. I think 10th place is all we can get in this race, which, again, is not bad. Might lose a little bit, because I think Kyle was maybe higher up in, in, in this race. I don't know. Look at that. I, under, I somehow underdrove the corner so much I hit the curb. I, man, what if, what if shitty today? I don't know. But we're heading off turn four for the final time. Jimmy and Jeff are side by side, like 2007. Someone and Jimmy wins. I get 10th after the very, very strange incident early on in the race. I, I managed to get 10th. Again, it's not it's a solid race. I mean, I had a few mistakes. I choked a bit, but I don't know. Really, I. I, I mean, it's a solid race. I mean, I just wish I I did better. <laughs> Let's see, Newman outside of top 10, thanks to me. Tony Stewart 14th, Bush 15th in the frickin' shitmobile. Mark 20th, Logano, that's a good day. Um, I'm kind of curious where Kyle Bush 23rd, shit. Alright, well, it looks like I'm going to gain quite a bit in points, possibly. So let's see what the point sayings are like after this race. After Martinsville, let's check out the points. Yep, I still have a... 26 point lead over Jimmy, so I did lose a little bit. Well, technically, I I gained. That's because Jimmy was so far back. Uh, my 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 brain I can't, I can't function. So Jimmy, after getting his first win of the season, he is now second. Kenseth is still in third. Junior is now in fourth. What? Kyle lost a lot in that race. Shrek still in the top ten. Newman still in the top twelve. And Biffle is finally in the last wild card spot. All right, all right. Okay, next race will be at Texas, and oh baby, I am not looking forward to that. I don't think I'm gonna, it's gonna be like Vegas, tire fall off is insane. Maybe a top top 10, top five, but um, other than that, that's all I can hope for. Maybe a miracle caution, like what happened in the very first inside line LP. So we'll see what happens. A lot of variables that play into this race on this game. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Um, as always, I do appreciate the love, the feedback, and support all of you giving me in the comment section below, and as well as liking this video, because it also helps me out a lot in the long run, so I do appreciate it a lot. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all at the next race, and as always, have a good day everyone.